Hi, I'm Jekka McVicker. I'm an RHS Vice President, RHS Ambassador for Health and Wellbeing through Horticulture, and I'm a herb farmer. And today with me all the way from Cornwall has come the most amazing Michelin star chef, Nathan Atlaw, who not only is a stunning chef, he is also a brilliant gardener and grows all his own product for his restaurant, or nearly. Well, nearly all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of it. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be talking about mint, especially for the RHS grow winter crops. Okay. And um, this is a wonderful thing to keep going through the uh, winter because I'm very greedy about fresh mint. I don't know about you. I am. Um, I, I think yeah. it's fantastic. In mint, the smell of yeah. it and the taste of it. And there's so many different varieties as well. Yeah. This is the actual creeping rhizome, which is why you grow mint in a pot, which is to stop it rampaging all over the whole of your garden. Right. The trouble is it makes a gap between the root ball, this is the root ball, and the rhizome. So when it rains, which happened in November-ish, this will rot. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how the Victorians force mint for Christmas. And I'm sure in your restaurants that you will be wanting a good supply of fresh mint. Definitely, yeah. So if you put some compost in there, just okay. a thin layer, yeah. while I divide this plant. Now, having cut them back and you've got the new growth, yeah. what would you use mint for in the kitchen? Well, I think at this time of year, the winter time, um, I think it's something that can really like liven up things like roasted root vegetables. Mm. I think that people don't realise that you can use things like you know mint. They always associate it with more sweet things. I've divided it in half. So you can see in the middle here, we have very little root ball. Have a look at the middle. See, there's not much there. No. Everything is here. This is the engine of the plant. Right. So if you want to be lazy, yeah. All you do is then you put that in the middle okay. of your pot, repot like this. But we want fresh mint for Christmas, so. Oh, those are your labels. Okay. Because once you take the root off, look, do you see you literally pull this off? When you do it roasting, do you add it? just before you serve mm. or do you cook it? I do it both. I put something at the beginning yeah. and then I put something at the end. Oh, fantastic. I always have, so I think that you usually when you're roasting things like vegetables, um, you always get some lovely, like sort of the sugars from the vegetables start to roast down. You could put a little splash of wine or whatever in there to just to bring all that sort of flavor off the pan. If you add your mint into that at the end, it's just amazing. Fantastic. And then you pat it down with the hand. Yeah. So it's all, nice and flat but I did this on the 7th of the 9th and we are the 14th of the 9th today right so exactly seven days and if you look carefully you can see that it's already shooting it's incredible isn't it I put this in a Italy in the glass house not on heat okay uh, literally just in the glass house there you are see there it is there's the root and it's the root that is shooting isn't that just beautiful? So quickly as well. Yeah. It's incredible. That's at this time of year. Obviously, if you did this later on in the year, it would take longer, but I promise you it comes through. And if you don't have a greenhouse, then put it on your kitchen windowsill. If you did it in November, you would have fresh mint pickings for Christmas. <laughs>